Welcome back everybody, Kenny Smyson here. I do put out Starfield content every week, so be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I am finally doing it here, the best of 2x2 Habs. I've spent the past couple months or so going through each of the 2x2 Habs uh, by category. And so now we're going to go ahead and take a look and see which one's won. And as always, I do try to set my personal biases aside and uh, just kind of look at what I think the, the best one is overall for most players. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. And the winner for the best all-in-one berth goes to Nova Galactic. The slider does not cause anything to be lost in this particular section of the hab. Uh, but in general, this hab has everything I would expect to see in an all-in-one berth. This area is kind of the living quarters area with the beds and a table and a desk. Lots of storage, lots of good screens. I love my monitors. Um, I think they really add a lot to the ship. Of course, you got your kitchen area here. A little weird to have, I think, the bathroom right next to the kitchen with the shower, but uh, anyways, let's get some storage. Little section here. Um, overall, this have, has a really good layout. You, A lot of the walls, if you put uh, windows or doors, you're not losing too much big stuff. And it gives you plenty of options to have different uh, entrances um, through the floors and ceilings. You know, like For example, if you put a... Uh, uh, door in here you're still gonna it's gonna be right there where that locker is but you'll still have your two beds here and the all-in-one berth runner-up by default because there is only two is the tail in general not a fan of this because of how barren it is doesn't have a lot inside of it it's just kind of big open room uh, but one thing it does have going for it is the beds which there's uh, two bunk beds so four beds total are in a separate room with its own door. I do am a fan of that, and that's over there on the back left uh, side of the, the hab here. Next up is the battle stations, and the winner for this one is the Stroud Eklund. I like how the uh, navigation console is right in the middle of the hab. Kind of has a proper battle stations feel to it. Lots of monitors everywhere. It's got a nice clean vibe going on. It's darker than the Deimos, which is a rescan, and kind of has more of a, I don't know, I, I kind of like think the submarines, right? And you ever see submarines, it's usually pretty dark in there. At least that's the general vibe I get. And the Deimos is just a lot brighter, which I'm not a fan of. And that ladder, thankfully, does not cause anything to be lost. And the runner-up for the battle stations is the Hope Tech. It's got a nice dim look like the, the Stroud Eklund does. I'm not a fan of the way the navigation console is tucked up in this corner on the side there, uh, but I do like how this one has uh, different rooms. Uh, it kind of breaks up the, fl uh, the floor plan a little bit and gives you a little more variety. Next up is the Brig, and the winner of this one is the Deimos. I like the brighter look to it. You don't want your uh, inmates hiding in the dark. Um, I like the red lights in this one, which is a nice touch. We've got an armory here in this room, small one, just a weapon box there and a couple weapon uh, weapon racks on that wall. Bathroom and shower in that corner. And a lot of great ways to kind of enter into this room. You can do it from the front there where that desk is. You can come through the armory. Um, and thankfully this ladder here does not cause anything to be lost. And the runner up to the brig is the Teo. Unfortunately, this is the one instance I've seen where four of the manufacturers have reskinned uh, the same uh, floor plan for a hab. And so it is the exact same as the Deimos, just some different lighting. Instead of the red lights, you've just got white lights inside the sails. The one that's unique is the Nova Galactic, but that one, the floor plan was just really weird and didn't look like a secure uh, setup at all with, with the sails. So the Teo took it. Next up is the Cargo Hall, and the winner for this one is the Stroud Eklund. It's got a good variety with all the shelves, kind of breaks up the floor plan a little bit. Got a nice little hand truck right there, which of course makes sense. Doesn't matter where you put the doors and windows in here, you don't really lose much of anything because all the important good stuff is kind of more in the middle and not where the doors and windows are. Uh, most notably a bathroom. I mean, that is awesome if you're a Hauler, you're going to want your crew to be able to uh, use the bathroom without having to necessarily go into a living area, right? 
occasional monitor uh, strategically placed, which is a nice touch. And thankfully that ladder over there uh, doesn't cause anything to be lost. In fact, ladder placement doesn't cause any, I don't think anything to be lost anywhere in it. So there you have it. And the cargo hull runner up is the Nova Galactic. This is probably the one that was the closest between the two. Uh, but it it would have won if it had a bathroom. Unfortunately, it didn't. But good things it has going for it is kind of that caged fence look off in the back section over there. As well as here to the right, um, that kind of half wall just really breaks up the floor plan and makes it kind of look uh, fairly unique. Moving on, we're looking at the computer cores. And the winner for this one is Deimos. Now, I do have some lightweight experience in IT at past jobs, and so I... Kind of have a, a little glimpse into that world. One thing IT guys love is a clean environment. Um, and so that's why I chose these. Uh, this one over the Hope Tech Teo because, goodness, the uh, those two halves are just a mess. Uh, now, the Stroud Eklund is typically a, um, you know, a reskin with the Deimos. And usually the Deimos is a lot brighter in color. But in this case, the Deimos is a bit more dim. And I, you know, in my experience with IT, I preferred a more dimly lit environment. So I didn't have to have uh, super bright screens, right? So that's kind of why I I chose uh, would choose a darker environment. So thankfully the demos here um, is brighter in color, and you know the Stroud is darker, but it's got the grays and the orange in it. So and this lighter does not cause anything to be lost. And the runner-up for the computer core is the Hope Tech. I'm not a big fan of the cable mess kind of all over the floor, but I do like how the floor plan is it kind of has some twists and turns in this little center command bunker area with the window. It's a nice touch. Next up is the engineering bay and the winner is Deimos, although that is by default because it's the only 2x2 engineering bay. However, I do love the look of this hab. It does give you plus 2 to your crew capacity. It has these fantastic uh, engines and, and industrial uh, machines here in the center. Computer consoles everywhere workbenches, desk, monitors, lockers. So just a really cool looking hab. Uh, ladder placements in all those locations don't cause anything to be lost, which is good. So if you're looking for something that makes your ship look cool on the inside, definitely be sure to pick this one up. And finally, we are looking at the living quarters and the winner obviously goes to Nova Galactic. Because pool table. Guys, there's a pool table. I mean, although the physics of that in space, who knows. Anyways, um, aside from having the pool table, which is a nice touch, uh, this living quarters has a lot going on for it. Of course, you got your, your galley and your kitchen in here with this whole setup here, a little table over there to the side, a little seating area with your bathroom, some storage. You've got uh, another desk, workout area. And that ladder does not cause any of the stuff right there on the floor to be uh, lost, thankfully. Two beds, some more seats, and a little living room area. So overall, I think this habit looks fantastic. I wish the TV was on, though. But yeah, that, that pool table, guys, it just it definitely sells it. The runner-up for the living quarters is the Deimos, which it's brighter in color than the Stroud, which is fine with me because it, there's no beds, so it comes across more as a literal living room. There are two uh, really cool little side rooms over there you can have fun with, with different entrances and whatnot. Uh, one major downside is it does not have a functional galley, so keep that in mind. All right, everybody, thank you for going through this 2x2 HAB video with me. And did you agree with me? Did you disagree? Which HABs are your favorites? Sound off in the comments below. I will put a link in the description below for the entire HAB, uh, HAB showroom playlist that I'm still working on. Uh, next up, I'm going to do the 3x1s, then I'll hop over to the two by threes and three by twos. And I think there's a, a single three by three uh, and maybe the cockpits as well. I am aware that here in the month of May, we're going to be getting the custom, um, is it the custom Habs? Yeah, I think we're going to get that this month. So looking forward to putting out some content, uh, doing the tours with that. So, or the showroom, I should say. Other than that, folks, take care. I will see you in the star field. Yeah.